played like a team that wanted to win. You know, we got our play start to finish. You know, so, you know, we had some moments in the game. Um, but, you know, we played like we just, you know, thought we was going to march in here and win the game. And, Show why they in the NBA. Um, it's a tough loss. Game alarming at all, or can you pause at all? Um, not alarming. I think just a, a wake up call that, um, you know, obviously us understanding how short handed they were you know, as far as you know, their main guys being out and uh, still being beat. You know, it's a, a wake up call that you can't, you got to come correct playing in, in, the, in the NBA. You can get beat on any given night. Um, regardless of who's on the floor, because these guys are here for a reason. And um, I think that's what we, we ran into tonight. I mean, guy went out there and had a monster game. And other guys got comfortable. They made shots. They was confident. They played together. And, um, you know, they put, we put ourselves in a position where it was a, a dog fight. The crowd was into it. They were believing. And, um, you know, it was a tough game, and they won it. More worried about the defense or the offense right now? I mean, I think the defense is, you know, what we lost the game with, you know, just allowing them to be comfortable and just move the ball around and uh, miscommunications, not being physical enough, not coming up with the ball, game rebounding. Um, you know, they got a lot of things that they wanted and they got it pretty comfortable, you know, so I think, like I said before, in, in stretches, we played better defensively and uh, we clean it up for a few minutes and then have fall offs and clean it up and, you know, it was too much of that. And then on the offensive end, I think, more what I said before is it's going to take some time for it to flow smooth and everybody to have an understanding of it. We run a lot of plays, or we put a lot of plays in, and we got so many guys learning different positions, and you know it just takes time. And right now, um, it's not flowing and running as smooth as we would like, um, but we got to keep finding a way to you know, get through these these tough early parts. At what point did you realize that you created a problem with yourself? Too? Created a problem? Yeah. What do you mean? You mean go to state? Yes. I mean, early in the game, when they just, uh, different guys were seeing the ball go in, go in. And, you know, the ball started hopping around. They started playing a little bit faster. The crowd got a, a little bit louder. Um, and you can just see them getting more and more confident early on in the game. And, um, I think in these situations, when you're playing against a young team, um, you got to understand off the rip that guys are getting an opportunity. And, you know, they don't have anything to lose. Uh, so you got to be even more locked in and even more sharp and, you know, come in and not allow it to spiral in that direction. Uh, and we let that happen. We started believing. Uh, it was out there talking to each other and the crowd getting into it, like I said. And, you know, any NBA team that uh, young or experienced or whatever, if they start believing and they start seeing the ball go in, they're going to they're give you a hard time. That's what we got ourselves into. Now. As much as you credit the Warriors, did you guys come out a little flat too as well? We just didn't come out with the, the urgency that we needed to come out with. Um, I would have to watch the game and see if it was flat. You know, I felt like we were we were trying hard. You know, I just think um, in the NBA, trying hard isn't enough. You know, we go over plays and personnel for a reason to know what guys like to do, what direction they go in, what they do well, um, what are they, what their favorite sets are, and you know, we prep for that so we can kind of eliminate it and make it harder for them. And, um, we played hard, but we, you know, our attention to detail and our urgency just wasn't at the level it needed to be. And we allowed them to get confident, get comfortable, and uh, we made it a, hard, a harder night than it had to be for us. Looked like you came out to try and establish a song inside, but then it seemed like you couldn't really get to your game after. Get to our get to your me, normal. Personal no, I didn't mean you. No, as a team, you couldn't get to your the way you guys normally play. I mean, we. We tried to, you know, run our, our normal sets that we run. Um, it was, the energy of the game was just in their favor, you know. So it got to the point where they were trying to uh, make me work. They picking me up full court. They was, you know, trapping in the beginning of the game. Um, so I tried to get them off. and started to attack. And, you know, I had it going a little bit. Um, and then every, every once in a while, even though I was making shots, I'd try to pull back and call a set and, and move it around. Just to get to what we do, you know, get some movement, get the ball bouncing around, um, and we just didn't execute good enough. You know, uh, same thing goes for that end. When the team is feeling good about what they're doing offensively, they're gonna guard harder, and they're gonna make you work hard on that end too. And we was up against that.
Is it a blow? Blow, we're gonna wrap it up. Is it a blow to the team's pride overall to lose a game like this? I mean, who are we to think that we can't lose to the Just curious your thoughts on having played here tonight because I know you're an Oakland native and you you know you showed so much support for the Warriors in Oakland and now they're playing here in San Francisco. It's not Oakland. San Francisco. It's that simple. Okay, thanks, Dave. Thank you.